Okay, this one we're going to solve this by factoring. Specifically, we're going to be using the Berry method. Now, the Berry method, first thing we need to do is identify our a, b, and c. a is this first term in front of the x squared. b is our linear term that's in front of the variable. Um, and c is our constant. Okay. Now then, with the Berry method, we want to multiply our a times c. a times c. Okay, and a times c in this case would be negative 60. All right, now then we have to think about this for a moment. What two numbers multiply together to give me negative 60, but when you add them together give me a positive 11? So two numbers that multiply together give me negative 60, and add together to give me a positive 11 would be 15 and negative 4. Okay, with the Berry method, this is the part that's a little bit unusual is we, we need to factor these into two, bi two binomials first. And this is the part that's a little bit unusual. I'm going to write my first, my a in there, 10, and then I'm going to put whatever the variable is. In this case, it's x. And I'm going to put it into both of those. But we inherently know that this is wrong because 10x times 10x would give me 100x squared. So it's just a step in the process, but we, we know that's not going to be our final uh, answer our final binomial, if you will. Now then, we need a second part of our binomial, and we get that from these parts over here. I have a 15 and I have a negative 4. And I'm just going to write those in there, and it does not matter what order you write them in. Plus 15, minus 4. Now that we have those in place, now we've got to look for a common factor. So I look at my first binomial here, and I look 10x and 15. The common factor between those is 5, so I want to pull out a 5. So essentially, I'm going to divide both of them by 5. That's going to give me an answer of um, 2x plus 3. Okay. And then the second one here, I look at 10x and I look at negative 4, and I can see that a 2 will come out of there. That would yield me a 5x minus 2. Okay. Now, and essentially what we do is we divided that one by 2. So this is our, um, these are our two binomials right here. And all we did is look for a common factor. We pulled that out. The common factor does not stay there in any way. It's just gone now. This is just one of the ways we use this method. But this binomial, if we were to FOIL this out, does indeed equal this expression up top here. So now all we need to do is set this e equal to 0 and solve it. So now I've got um, two numbers, two parts multiplied together to give me zero. So now I can set each of them equal to zero. So I go 2x plus 3 equals zero, and 5x minus 2 equals zero. So I subtract 3 from both sides. 2x equals negative 3. Then I'm going to divide by 2. x equals negative 3 halves. On this one over here, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. 5x equals 2. Then I'm going to divide by 5, so x equals 2 fifths. So my answer in this one, x equals negative 3 halves and 2 fifths. So the first step is to factor those. And when we factor them, we end up with our two binomials, and then we set each of them equal to zero when we solve it.